What's up everybody, Durant back at it again with another video on Ground Branch. Today we are going to be talking about the CTE. I was able to get into it pretty early here. I know that it's going to be coming out pretty soon, so I thought that I would dive into it just to tell you what's going on. See what they're bringing to the table, if you know what I'm saying. Now, just to be clear, a lot of the stuff that's in here is still subject to change, and there's a lot of things that they're still working on. So if you see a lot of bugs or, you know, the video skipping, that's because this is still the test version of the game. So let's go ahead and get into it here. So the first thing that I want to point out is that the room that you spawn in at the very beginning when you hop into the server is relatively small now. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to, you know, be the actual size for this, but uh, as of the recording of this video, it was pretty small. But anyways, we move on to the dressing rooms, I guess I'll call it. And this part doesn't look like too much has changed, although I think it is a bit smaller. Because I remember there being like another dresser off to the right side of the room over there. So they're like really condensing down the starting area here just to make it feel more lived in possibly. Can't really say for sure, but uh, yeah. Yeah, let's push on here let's go to the back where the shooting range is so there's not too much that's new here aside from the fact that they added a new table which if you go up to the table you're able to edit your guy but i don't want to look into that just yet but it's really cool that this is here so i don't have to keep running back and forth between the gun range and the dressing room to get reacquitted so to the right of this gun table there is a new room and if we walk in the light turns from white to red i'm not really sure why somebody wants to explain that to me then uh, let me know but basically this is the shooting range for snipers i believe because it's a longer range than the other one that's in the next room so that's pretty neat i'd really like to know what that dark light actually does for us because i noticed when i tried to use the sniper rifle the scope actually looked brighter so is that supposed to do that i, I don't know but anyways let's move on here the last room to look at is the ready room and this is significantly smaller than what i remember again i don't know if this is uh, a permanent thing they might make like multiple ready rooms at least that's what it feels like to me really can't say for sure but uh, let's get into you being able to edit your character because this is just an overhaul and again this isn't done yet there's still a lot of things that need changing but i already love the way that this looks and i love the way that you can edit your character now in this mode like we pretty much already went in depth of what's already here in the previous video that i made but i think the one thing that's really notable about this is that you can actually save presets for everything so if you want a gun and you want like a specific loadout with like an acog or something and like a laser sight flash flashlight and all that you can save that and the game actually remembers that you can see the name and rename it but not only that you can also save character designs you could save your loadouts you could save the gear that you want it's such an amazing addition to this game but at the timing of this recording i don't think that it was functioning correctly because i was only able to save the guns but i wasn't able to save like the loadout or the character customization like if anything it was a little finicky which is unfortunate because i really love the way that this looks and it actually feels very very nice i really like the ui when it comes to mechanics they have now added a sort of like a sway effect so that when you're moving your gun left to right it's no longer in the center they have also made it so that your guy gets tired if you keep your gun in the upright position he gets really tired and his weapon begins to sway so you have to put his gun down you see his arms get tired from holding up the gun in an upright position so in order to get his stamina back you have to just put it down but there's another way that you can actually mitigate this by simply crouching if you crouch it's not as bad and his weapon sway is relatively minimal and uh yeah i'm not really sure how much this actually affects your running a lot of this stuff here is still subject to change because when i played with it my guy got really tired within like the first few seconds so what's interesting to see where this actually goes but uh yeah let's move on so that was that so let's go ahead and move on to gear what is new at coming to this update so i only saw about four things that were new two i know for sure are going to be coming in the update and two that aren't the two that are not going to be featured in the update but this was just sort of a preview was these new nvgs and another pistol that i am unfortunately not able to say but the two that are definitely going to make it in is a brand new modern fal or as they call it the fal tech Tactical. It's a pretty nice weapon, gotta say. And the other weapon is the AKM.
Also a very nice weapon. Can't wait to try this out on my subscribers, but uh, yeah. So when it comes to maps, I would say that the only one that got revamped was Paintball. And um, I did a bit of a duel with one of the developers and this is how that went. Hope you enjoy. Damn, who designed the map? This, this is just the original updated by John. It looks very nice. Okay. <laughs> Where the hell are you shooting from? I have no idea where he is. I'm just blasting away at thin air. He's here. I'm just like, where the fuck is he shooting? It's like I can hear the freaking gunshots, but I'm like looking, 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 looking. I don't see him. Yeah, it does not date properly along the sleeves. It's pissing me off. Not as uh, like tactical with the Glock. You just kind of spray in the area and hope for the best. Well, I mean, so long as you're not staying in the same spot to get shot at. No, I'm not just spraying. I'm actually taking a bit of time this time. Oh, let's try storage. You want to try storage? Yeah, we can. I'll just get killed by uh, do rag here or shoot him. One of the two. Fuck, man. 